because I was the only girl in that class, I just felt like it really wasn't a career path for me, even though I really had um, that passion for, for tech. So I think to thrive in such a male-dominated corporate industry, it takes guts. 76% of millennials regards uh, business as a force for social positive impact. I was actually really good at maths, but no one said it. So yeah, I've had to like, I came up with the idea for technology without understanding technology. About our mission statement is to empower every person and every organisation on the planet to achieve more. And you can't do that if everybody who sits in that board is from the same place, thinks the same, because the same decisions will keep being made. There's an understanding that there will be times when motivation will dip, but then there'll also be the peak. Just like there's the top, there'll also be the peaks. Imposter syndrome is something that, as a founder, you have to embrace and see the benefits of. But actually, by having that sort of imposter mindset, you can often see things in a different way to the status quo. Be brave. Step out of your comfort zone and seize the moment. Ask questions, be present and engaged, and make connections. You are good enough. You have power and use it and pay it forward. And all of that comes from us analysing uh, ludicrous amounts of data, trillions and trillions and trillions <laughs> of data points from our products as they're actually being used in real time. What Julie has kind of highlighted here is that there's even further potentially to go um, for female entrepreneurs than there is with women joining businesses. And now I'm just like doing what I love every single day. And yeah, it's just all thanks to Coast West Girls, I have to say. <laughs> I think my job's done. I think I can just walk <laughs> open the mic right now. <laughs>